Surprise, eh? You didn't expect that. Let's look at that business model innovation because it's really important to understand what was done here. So the guys from Hilti really started asking a different, totally different fundamental question. And that was, hold on just a sec, before we get to those solutions, why don't we ask ourselves, is there a better golden problem that we can solve for somebody else? And looking around, they found that somebody, the bosses and the CEOs of construction companies, and they sat down with them and asked them, so what are your problems related to power tools? And they started hearing a lot of stuff that had to do with the damage involved with tools, the late work hours, they heard about delays in the work construction, and fines and penalties that they're getting from their customers. And then they said, here's a golden problem that we could solve. Why not offer them holes drilled on time with no delays? Which is a totally different value proposition from selling a tool, right? And so the next thing was, how do we provide this value? They looked around and they saw a business model worth copying. The fleet management business model related to the auto industry, which they brought into the power tool world. So they started offering a service through vans of service that would visit customer sites and every time a customer would have a problem with their tool, Hilti would take care of it. They offered service level agreements, support agreements that would allow availability of those tools on time and for those holes to be drilled. They did also offer these tools as repair services and in this way created a whole new revenue model for recurring revenues through or under contracts for many years. So, the account managers were happy, the customers were happy, they got a better value, and the entire business model changed. Hey, but one thing didn't change. What was it? Yeah, they didn't need to invent any new tools for this. Now, so big of an innovation this was. Look at this quote from somebody very interesting in the company. Hilti developed many very innovative and successful products over the years, but they paled in comparison with the fleet management business model, which was the most important innovation in Hilti's history. And who signed there? Hilti's CTO, no other. The person in charge for product and technology innovation. Now, Hilti was so successful that if we look at it through the prism of desirability, yes, they solved a big problem, bigger than the one they solved earlier. Feasibility, well, they had the tools already. Viability, 25% growth engine year over year, which is a very significant income and revenue for the company. And five times customer lifetime. So they were able to preserve and retain their customers for five times longer of a period than the older model used to be. So now HLT uses both models and they work very harmonically together. Thank you.